Yellowstone Volcano latest update. This is January 4th, 2019 article. How 300 miles of molten rock is rising and expanding. Yellowstone is a supervolcano, as we know. It's located in Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone it has volcano erupted three times in history. This is January 4th, 2019 article. 1.2 How million years ago, miles of molten and rock 40,000 years ago. Rising and expanding. Volcanoes typically blow when molten rock, known as magma, Rise Yellowstone is a supervolcano as we know, it's melted in Yellowstone due to tectonic plates. Shifting. It has erupted three times in history. Geologists have used data to draw one million years ago, of the magma chamber, 1.2 million years ago, top of the magma plume, and 640,000 years ago. Size and just how close it is Volcanoes to the Yellowstone and molten caldera, rock, known as magma. The model which rises featured to the surface in the Earth's mantle in the documentary due to tectonic plates shifting chamber. Contains more than 300 cubic miles of the molten of the rock. magma chamber. The 200 and 2,000 of magma series revealed it is just five miles below. Size just how close it is to the Yellowstone say. caldera. More importantly, the area the of which most dramatic rise in the BBC is direct volcano documentary of shows a U-shaped chamber. Just the magma chamber is more than 300 cubic and miles and pushing up against the Earth's surface. The 200, 2015 the last series eruption revealed of Yellowstone it is just five miles below the surface. 2,500 they times to say, more volcanic more material the area than the of 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. directly Alex. above the beach Geologists of the chamber. Triggering event this takes place. Just magma chamber is an expanding could happen and that is pushing up against two Earth's surface. Weeks. The Jacob last eruption of Yellowstone research with the U.S. Geological Survey in Vancouver, times. Washington, more volcanic material how the last than the 1980 have eruption played out. of Mount St. Helens. He said, Geologists typically when these eruptions begin, event takes place, they begin from a certain an eruption could happen, then they get larger as they move along to the fracture weeks. system. The entire sequence that formed the research with the U.S. Geological Survey in Vancouver, Washington, Detailed how the last catastrophe this created an eruptive column so colossal. He said that it covered about typically when these eruptions of the U.S. in a thick layer of a certain event, should they get larger again. as they move along? The, the ground around Yellowstone National Park would rise the entire up sequence forming the last warm of earthquakes. eruptions may have taken as little then following as two the weeks. eruption. Enormous pyroclastic flows of blast away across so the colossal. park. That we know these about classic percent of the U.S. can never outrun the layer of ash. They go at about 700 the miles an hour. Again, the ground this around Yellowstone National Park would rise upward, uh, this forming major a vast of earthquakes, lava blebs, and superheated gas. Following the eruption, exceeds temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius. Pyroclastic flows would blast their way across the park. Speeds of up to we know 300 miles an hour. Flows. You can never outrun them. They go They're predicted about to spread miles an hour. miles out from Yellowstone. This is fast as a jet airplane flies, like Wyoming, uh, Montana, this Idaho, of ash, and Colorado, in three and feet of harmful gas, volcanic ash. Temperatures three of one thousand degrees. I mean, nothing could live there. And could move people the not plant to three hundred miles an hour. If the pyroclastic flow hits anyone, they are predicted to spread more than one hundred miles an out from Yellowstone. Burying around 300 in Wyoming, degrees. Montana, Idaho, this is and Colorado in news. three feet of harmful volcanic ash. Three feet of ash. I mean, nothing can live there. 300 not miles, people, not plants, plants, not rock animals. Is rising if the pyroclastic flow hits anyone, they would possibly die within seconds as the air could heal. Yellowstone up is a super volcano, as we know. It's located in Yellowstone National Park. On science it has erupted news. three times in history 2.1 million years ago. 1.2 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago. Volcanoes typically blow when molten rock, known as magma, rises to the surface following the Earth's mantle melting due to tectonic plates shifting. Geologists have used data to draw a 3D model of the magma chamber, which sits on top of the magma plume, revealing its sheer size and just how close it is to the Yellowstone caldera. The model, which featured in the BBC's supervolcano documentary, shows a U-shaped chamber containing more than 300 cubic miles of molten rock. The 200, 2015 series revealed it is just five miles below the surface. They go on to say, 
More importantly, the area of most dramatic rise is directly above the beak of the chamber. This suggests the magma chamber is expanding and that is pushing up against the Earth's surface. The last eruption of Yellowstone produced around 2,500 times more volcanic material than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. Geologists have warned once a triggering event takes place, an eruption could happen in as little as two weeks. Jacob Lowenstern, a researcher with the U.S. Geological Survey in Vancouver, Washington, detailed how the last catastrophic incident may have played out. He said, typically when these eruptions begin, they begin from a certain event, then they get larger as they move along the fracture system. The entire sequence that formed the last Yellowstone eruption may have taken as little as two weeks. This created an eruptive column so colossal that it covered about 60% of the U.S. in a thick layer of ash. Should the same happen again, the ground around Yellowstone National Park would rise upward, forming a swarm of earthquakes. Then following the eruption, enormous pyroclastic flows would blast their way across the park. And we know these pyroclastic flows, you can never outrun them. They go at about 700 miles an hour. That's as fast as a jet airplane flies. Uh, this mixture of ash, lava blebs, and superheated gas exceeds temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius and can move at speeds of up to 300 miles an hour. They're predicted to spread more than 100 miles out from Yellowstone, burying states like Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Colorado in three feet of harmful volcanic ash. Three feet of ash. I mean, nothing could live there. Not people, not plants, not animals. If the pyroclastic flow hits anyone, they would possibly die within seconds as the air could heat up to around 300 degrees Celsius. This is on Science Global News. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece and Kapota, 
And we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.